What's up guys, welcome to Sonoma Raceway. We're right now in a 2008 BMW E92 M3. This is the owner, Felix. You've done quite a bit to this car. Tell me what the mod list is. Basically stock power, just uh, cast deleted, and then I have JRGC suspension, um, wheels, Kumo B730 tires. JRZ RS Pros, two ways, right? Yes. With remote or non-remote? Uh, remote. Remote canisters. I have SPO rear tow links just to lock them out, and then gotcha. I have GAS uh, monoball starts and rims okay. up front. Pretty good setup, and you have this aftermarket shifter, right? Yes, RTD shifter, because the stock one just feels terrible. Pretty terrible, yep. Like all BMWs, basically. Yep. All right, let's see what this thing can do here at Sonoma. And the seatbelt trick works really well. I'm so like <laughs> snug now.
uh, something like a Camaro, for example. Also, this is such a huge improvement over stock. Yeah. How much does this cost? It's like 600 bucks. I think it's totally That's worth so it. That's so worth it. So worth it. The GT3? That's the GT3. Oh no. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, I hope he's okay. Every time I'm here at Sonoma, turn 10 wrecks at least one car. Well, on a brighter note, this car is really good. It could use a little bit more brake bite, but that's really my only piece of feedback. Okay. It took me a long time for some reason to get like warmed up to the car. Like, I think because this power button, mm -hmm. it makes the throttle really sensitive. Yeah. I was really not smooth with my upshifting at first. Yeah, that glider was good, and you got one good lap. One good lap, yeah. <laughs> Just one. I'm so glad that it actually, we were able to pull that together at the end. What lap time was it? Did you see? It was uh, 53. 53, okay. I know Sonoma is a couple of seconds faster now after the repave, so I'm not even getting anywhere close to the limits of the car. I think this is easily like a sub 50 car. Yeah, I think the car can do it. Yeah. Do you have any plans for modifying it more? Seats. Seats, yeah, <laughs> the seats are bad. Yeah, and so slippery too. Very You're slippery and then I was bracing with my left knee, but this part's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm bru bruising up my knee. <laughs> But otherwise, I think it's just seats. Everything else is driver mod. Yeah, exactly. I was not I was wondering if the shops were okay going over some of the berms. I didn't go over the berms too much. I tried to avoid them, but mm -hmm. there was one time I went over one and the yeah. rear got a little bit unsettled. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if that's more uh, rebound in the rear or... Yeah, maybe you could use a little more because it, it did like a little bit of a bounce. Yeah, yeah. Overall, the suspension does feel a little bit softer than I expected though. Yeah. Yeah, do you know, is it just shelf spring rates? No, these are what people like to run, uh, 600 front, 900 rear. Oh, okay. Um, but I am uh, full weight, so full I had weight? no re weight reduction at all. Oh, okay. So it might be a bit under sprung. So even people weight. with lighter cars, they run the same spring rates? Yeah, with no arrow. That could be why. I mean, overall, it still feels good. But the one time I went over that berm, I was like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do like, that again. Yeah, over yeah. It. Well, thank you again, Felix. This was a lot uh, of fun. Thank you. Let me know what you guys think of the E92 on track. My first time tracking one, like a bigger, heavier E46, basically. Like, <laughs> it has a lot of the same qualities. Really fun car to drive. See you guys in the next one.